Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to control your computer from your iPad 2. The software that uh, we'll be using today is called TeamViewer 7. Um, the first step obviously is to open up your internet um, browser. On your search engine, just type in TeamViewer 7, or just TeamViewer. Um, find the link, uh, TeamViewer.com, slash download index, you know. Um, you come to a website like this. Um, there's two downloads: the download for Mac and download for Windows. If you're a Windows user, download the Windows one. If you're a Mac user, download the Mac one. Uh, first, uh, first you have to press Save File. Um, it'll save the file for you. I'm using Mozilla Firefox, so yeah. Click the Run button. Um, install it, not run it. Um, this really matters. Just put in personal slash non-commercial use. Uh, put in I agree the terms and I agree with Team UF for non-commercial and private use. For this one, I think yeah, just put in the default one, which is no. It, it will be installing for you. It shouldn't take much time, and then you'll come to this part. Now it's going to the iPad. Okay, now we're on the iPad to um, any iPad works. Go into the App Store, search uh, search box, type in Team Viewer Seven or Team Viewer. Sorry for the bad quality. I have a horrible camera. Uh, the result should be the free one. There's only one free one, I think. Yeah, Team Viewer HD. Click the install button. press install uh, once I type in my password it'll take a few seconds for it to download or install horrible quality sorry guys and that's how the logo is I guess okay now the setup for this is quite easy Just Quite easy, just press next two, three, four, and then just click done at the end. Um, now you can see that you do find the username, pass the username password from your computer. They're all numbers, six digit numbers for the pass ID, and the password is just four numbers. Remember those numbers and go back to your iPad or iPad 2 or iPad 3. Uh, the new iPad if it ever comes out and just type in uh, the six numbers for your iPad ID and on the four digits for your password all right once you're done um, just click and yeah you're done so yeah, as you can see on the top right corner that's my actual computer and then obviously um, behind it is me controlling the iPad. Right now I'm in the basement, so I'm like two floors away from my computer. As you can see, it's quite responsive. It may take a little get getting used to at the beginning, but it, it's pretty fun. Pretty you can also use it as like a scare tactic against your you know sister. Will be controlling the computer, even though she doesn't know it. Let's go on NBA.com. Quite responsive. And I'm not sure if this works on iPhone. Yeah, I think it should. I'm pretty sure it does. Androids or droids, I'm not sure about them. I think they have the feature too. But yeah, as you can see, LeBron photo and LeBron photo on the top right. It's uh, quite good. If I had a better camera, it would be even better quality, trust me. 
Um, as you can see, I just shut off Cam Stacia. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.